Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create this type of the pyramid geometry in Blender 3.6. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Right, so now I'm going to just create a new Blender project file and I'm going to press A and delete everything. To create a pyramid, the first step is just to add a mesh at a plane, just like this. Then, you already have a plane. Then, make sure you name this as pyramid. Right. The next step, click and then go to the edit mode. Then, now you can see, you click this. Click here, you can select the whole surface. If you click the empty area, it is going to deselect. So I right click here, click subdivide. Now you can see an edge is already, sorry, a vertex is already generated at the center and then it divided into four faces. So if this is a vertex. I'm going to click here so that I can select the vertex. Then I click here. So I can press E to extrude, then press G to extrude it up along the Z axis. Now we can see this is a vertex with with an edge, this is an edge. So what we want is just click here so that you can select this vertex. Then you hold the shift and select the corner, just like one, two, three, then you right click it. Then new edge face from the vertex. Then you still have three faces. So click the empty area, select the first vertex, then hold the shift, click the second and third, then right click new edge face from the vertices from here. Then you click, hold the shift, click another two, right click, new edge. Then click, hold the shift, click, click like this, right click, new edge. It is really simple, it is pretty simple. Now it already become a pyramid. If you want to change the shape of the pyramid, you can just, you can adjust the vertex, you can adjust this vertex as well, but, but you can see actually this one, it will have some error there, the errors, so you have to make sure you clean it. So I control Z. Then I'm going to just delete this. I click and delete this vertex, this, this edge. I press delete button to delete the edge. I'm going to delete all of the edges at the bottom. I press the shift and select all of this and press delete, delete all of the edges. Then I'm going to, to delete this vertex, uh, sorry, this edge as well. I click delete and delete this edge. Next, I just hold the shift, click the click, click and then click in this way. Right now, I switch it to to make sure I can select the this one, this vertex. I press delete button to delete this vertex, this vertex. Just click and delete these vertices. Click and delete vertices. Click and delete the vertices. Sorry. Delete the vertices. Now you can see it already become a clean pyramid. Next, I select the vertices, uh, sorry, I select the edges, click, hold the shift, I select all of this. Then I right click, then new faces from edges. Now, this already become a clean pyramid. Now I back to the, back to select the vertex that if I select one of the vertex, then when I move it, you can see the whole pyramid, it can move together to follow the location of the vertex. So this one is to adjust the height. And here, you can adjust the location. Of course, if you want to have a perfect pyramid, it is just something like this. It is like the pyramid in Egypt, right? Then next, you can just add some material, turn on the texture here. Then you can assign some material 
and I'm going to press A and just simply assign a base color to make it have some color like this. And of course, you, you can add a texture just by assign a image texture. Then you can just, just click open, open any of the image texture to make it become the texture of this pyramid. But for this one, as there are more, I'm going, going to just make it as simple as possible. Just make it back to become a become just a base color. Right. So I'm going to back to the object mode, back to the object mode. And here, I don't want this material. I just want to have a, a very clean yellow color pyramid. Right. All right, that's all for today about how to create a perfect pyramid in Blender 3.6. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you.